In the official lore of Thomas, every character, well, almost every character, has a base that Wilbert Audrey assigns them to. Thomas is an LBSCRE2. Edward's a Furnace Railway K2. Gordon's a GNR Gresley A1 Pacific. But Percy? Percy's quite the anomaly. What we know about Percy is that he's an 040 saddle tank that was likely built at the works of Avonside and was fitted with components to that of Hunslet and other builders. And as you may notice from the passage, you can see that Audrey never hinted what year Percy was built in. Now, there are some that believe he's an old saddle tank built like in the 1890s like Trojan was, who was built in 1897, while some suggest he may be a lot younger. So today, I'll be answering one question I have in the back of my head. What works for Percy? Old or young? Let's dive in. So when it comes down to why people believe that Percy is older, from what I've seen, it mostly comes down to what his potential basis is, pointing that Percy could share the same basis as Trojan. Trojan was built in 1897 at Avonside, and does share some similarities to Percy, and I guess I can see why people often reference Trojan when it comes down to deciding what Percy is, or even what his building actually is. Given in some illustrations, Percy does, in a way, share some design choices similar to that of Trojan. Some could even use the excuse of growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. And this could definitely apply to Percy. Or that he suffered so much trauma he became a child. Wow. Percy being an old settled tank engine built in the 1890s or the 1900s, makes his existence, I guess, more believable. From what I've seen, people have used candidates like Trojan, Wildwood, even the Caledonia Railway 264 class as candidates for Percy, and those engines were built between the 1890s to the 1900s. Another thing that could hint that Percy is an older engine is what he says to Edward after wishing Henry. Oh, that's nothing. You should hear them in the workshops. You have to make a noise like that to be heard. Now, I bring this up because one particular comment lays out everything and has some good points in it that I want to highlight. One being the exact quote I just played. However, this other key point I find interesting. He quotes, It could very well mean he's been in steam in the workshops, but it doesn't really make sense to me aside from if it's a private industry, which in itself doesn't make sense. So making Percy an ex work shunter was the way to go. And everything the comment has provided is valid to its own right. The fact that Percy says that Edward could hint that, and it's very likely he could have likely been a shunter or an industrial engine prior to being that workshop that Sir Tom Hat will later find him in. So these factors, if they are done right, is a good excuse for justifying why he's an old engine, yet act naive and childlike at the same time. Now I'm done with this section, I'll now explain why Percy can work as a young engine. Now Percy as a young engine can definitely work. In fact, Percy being a young engine means that his naive yet childlike innocence is more straightforward, not just in the books, but also in the show. What's a railway testicles? Plus, it also makes more sense that younger characters tend to be more foolish and naive compared to, say, characters that are older. Even in the show, Percy seems to act like the youngest. Like here, for example. Father, it's at danger. It's all moved up instead of down. Come on, Percy, said his driver. Off we go. Stop! You're going the wrong way. But it's a backing signal, Percy protested and told him about Gordon and James. The driver laughed and explained. So much so that the unlucky talk even goes as far as referring to him as the baby in the CGI era. The CGI series loved to flanderize its characters. Gordon became the always grumpy one. James was the always selfish and vain one. Percy was the baby. But given this definition of his CGI counterpart and his characterization throughout the show, I'd say him as a younger engine could definitely work, just as long as it's done right to make it believable. So what's my overall conclusion to this entire topic? 
Well, like I said, him being either old or young can work if it's done right. And how Percy is perceived is completely up to you, given that he's a complete anomaly within the Rory series and in the lore itself. But personally, I like to think that he was built between like 1918 to 1921, maybe even like 1922. Just maybe. I like to think that those years is when he could have likely been built, but you let me know what you think. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next. Cheerio!